Hi, how are you doing? I trust that you are well and corona free. And that the grace of God has kept you. Glory to God. Welcome to Destiny Chapel's Daily Devotions. Now, has anyone ever promised you something and somehow along the way they failed to keep their promise? Something that you so desired and, and had a lot of expectations over it. But somehow, something happens along the way, either they forgot, they ignored, or they just failed to keep their promises. It has happened to me so many times. But guess what? God watches over you and has future promises for you that are so great and precious than that of man. Glory to God. Now, little quick, let's jump into this book of 2 Peter, chapter 1 and verse 4. The word of God says, Through this, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Now, if you look very well, the beginning of this scripture, it begins with two words that is through this. So through what? What are these? Now, through this refers to his own glory and excellence. So, in other words, we could say, through his glory and excellence, he has given us promises. Very great and very valuable promises than those of men. My God. So it means that through the promises, we become partakers in Christ. Oh, no, no, we become partakers in God's nature. In God's nature. Now, King James calls them partakers. But New Revised Standard Version says participants. And the NIV, which I just read, talks of, uh, you know, to participate. So this translated in Greek, it means koinonos, which therefore means that one who takes part in something with someone, a companion, a partner, or a sharer. And it is also related to the word that most of the time we've heard it many times, even, you know, men of God preach about it and they preach and mention it, koinonia, which means fellowship, sharing and communion, you know. So in other words, we become partakers in God. We become sharers in God when we believe his promises. Now, two things define God's promises. One is that they are exceedingly, extraordinarily great. And number two, they are great and exceptional and of exceptional value. They are of great and exceptional value than those promises of men that can fail any time. So sometimes by a reason of, I think, familiarity, we tend to forget these precious and great promises that God has for us. You know? Now listen, the promises which Christ makes to us about the present and very uh, about the present are very precious 
and very great. Listen to some of them that I have highlighted here. Number one, that we shall receive the Holy Spirit. Number two is that we have been adopted and now have the relationship to God as sons and daughters. That God hears our prayers and answers them. I have no doubt about that. That in his name we will do the miracles that Jesus did even greater. That he will never leave us or forsake us. That one for sure, I believe it. And I know that God will never leave us nor forsake us. That Jesus loves us in spite of our failures and sins. Now the promises Jesus or the promises that Christ makes about the future are equally precious and very great. Listen to some of these future promises. Number one is that God will meet every single need we have according to the extent of his riches. Number two, that Christ will return and take us to himself. That our bodies, number three, whether living or dead, at Christ's return will be raised and changed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That we will rule and reign with Christ in the new heavens and new earth. Now all these are just but highlights of hundreds and hundreds of promises, you know, that are contained in the scripture, that are contained in the Bible. So you can begin to imagine how just by going through them, how our lives can take a new shape, how our lives are, uh, can be transformed only if we believe in these promises by faith. These promises, I tell you, they have power to change. They have power to change us and even more. Just believe in the promises of God by faith. You know what he says in his word? That he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could think or even ask. His promises are yea and amen. They fail not. I love it. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for this word. Lord, we know that you have future, great and precious promises for our future that can never fail, that are greater, superior to those of men. By faith, right now, we believe and trust in your word and in the promises that we have seen in your word. And we know, Lord, without doubt, that you are a promise keeper and that you fail not. Thank you for my viewer today. May you help us to know that we have a father who never fails. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, God, and we worship you today. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Now you know that the promises of God never fails like those of man. Hallelujah. God bless you.